it's mid-March, the birds are singing, the daffodils are out, spring has sprung. And in this video I'm going to teach you everything I've learnt over the past year about how to grow the humble potato. Potatoes can be divided into three categories. You've got your first only, your second only and your main crop, the big boys. First early potatoes are produced a small waxy coated tuber normally planted around about mid-March and they take 10 weeks to mature. Second early potatoes normally planted around about the start of April they take 12 to 14 weeks to mature. Again they're small summer type potatoes with a waxy finish neither the first nor the second early potatoes store particularly well. The main crop potatoes are normally planted mid to late April and can take anything up to 20 weeks to reach maturity. They produce larger tubers and are ideal for storing and overwintering. Both first and second early potatoes are a determinate type of potato, which means they only produce one layer of tubers and this is formed above the seed potato. For this reason they do not need to be earthed up, they can just be planted, mulched and left. Main crop potatoes are an indeterminate type of potato which means that the tubers form along the stem in various layers as they go up. So by earthing the potatoes up you're exposing more of the main stem to the growing medium which means it will produce more and larger tubers. Now when it comes to planting potatoes there are several options available. You've got the traditional method which is where you dig a trench roughly 10 to 12 centimetres deep, plant the potatoes in the top of them seal them over and let them get on with it. The second method, which is becoming very popular, is a no-dig method, which you just lay the potato straight on the ground. Some people put it underneath a, a piece of cardboard or maybe a piece of newspaper, and then they put a mulch over the top of that and let it grow. And as it grows through, just add another layer of mulch. And a third method is to grow the potatoes in buckets. To do this, you put a layer of manure at the bottom of the bucket, then a small layer of compost, place in one or two potatoes, another layer of compost and two more potatoes and then finish it off with another layer of compost and a mulch. As I'm not sure which method is best and which method suits my method of growing best, I'm going to be trying all three this season and then I'm going to record the results and see which one I favour. Potatoes are ready to be harvested when the flowers begin to fade and die and the foliage starts to turn yellow. With uh, main crop potatoes, however, you can only dig them up and leave them on the ground for a few weeks to cure. An important thing to remember with potatoes as well is if you get potatoes growing too close to the surface and they're not covered, then the sunlight will get to them and it will turn them green. And this can make the potatoes poisonous, so if you do get any green potatoes, please don't eat them. Also, when the potato is producing flowers, it does produce small, small round buds that look like tiny little potatoes. Again, these are poisonous and should not be eaten. This is by no means a comprehensive guide to everything involved in growing potatoes, but I hope you find the information within this video useful and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Bye.